Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nora and today we are making cheese puree. And here I'm using three kinds of cheeses, one cup each. So I'm using one cup uh, mozzarella and uh, Mexican cheese and acawi cheese. You can use feta cheese. One cup uh, chopped parsley and half a cup of chopped uh, green onion. We need two eggs and half a cup of melted butter. One cup warm milk. So let's get started by mixing the ingredients together. Add the cheeses. Here I'm adding a pinch of black pepper and a pinch of salt. Uh, salt is optional uh, if your cheeses are salty, so you don't have to add salt. And just to give it a little bit of spice, I'm adding uh, red pepper flakes, and this is optional as well. Mix everything together very well and set it aside or you can set it in the fridge until we prepare the rest of the stuff. Here I have one cup warm milk, adding into it a half a cup of melted butter. Adding two eggs at room temperature will help to keep the butter and the milk warm because if we take the eggs right out of the fridge, it's cold, so it's going to change the temperature of the milk and the butter. Once the mix is ready, set it aside. Now we're going to butter uh, the sheet and I'm using melted butter. For your phyllo uh, sheets to get defrosted uh, by placing it into the fridge overnight and then take it out of the fridge an hour before and uh, let it sit on the countertop so it comes to a room temperature that way it'll be very easy to handle And make sure you cover the filo sheets uh, every time you take one out to prevent drying. So we are going to do one sheet at a time, adding the mixture between each sheet. I have done four layers of the filo sheets and now it's time to add the cheese. Try to keep the cheese away from the edges about half an inch. We'll continue the same steps uh, several times again before we add the second layer of the cheese.
And here I'm adding the rest of the cheese after adding five layers of uh, the filo sheets on top of the first layer of the cheese. And we are just going to repeat again. Now it's time to cut it to your desired size. It's best if you cut and then you lift the knife then cut again. That way you don't drag the filo sheets with the knife while you're cutting. Make sure all the edges are sealed and push toward the inside. Whatever you have left from the butter and uh, milk uh, mixture, just add it on the top. It's ready, now it's gonna go into a preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes or until it's nice and golden. Don't forget to turn the tray around after uh, 15 minutes to have it all evenly golden. And here is the final result. As you see, delicious, golden, crispy. I can't tell you enough about how crispy this is. And just to prove it for you how crunchy and crispy this is, listen to this. I 
as you see even the bottom it's nice golden and crispy And of course to try one first, I like the one at the edges because it has more crisp. So let's try this. It's too hot. I promise you it's so delicious. It's thin, crispy. You definitely will enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Stay healthy and stay happy. Bye.